Hello, my good Irish Football Fan TV. This is the after match reaction. I'm in the Metro now, uh, heading back from uh, Paris. I'm holding this because uh, the neck of it actually broke off earlier on today when I was doing some uh, interviews and stuff like that. So, unfortunately, that broke off. But anyway, um, let's get into it. I mean, the lineup. Um, he went very defensive. He went Alan Brown at right wing back, which I understand why he went with him. Um, Shane Duffy was uh, brought in uh, alongside John Egan, who we didn't think was going to start, but he did. So, um, absolutely, I'm not surprised with that one. And then uh, left wing back, Ender Stevens, I called that in the Start 11 show. Um, the other ones, really, Chiodosi and Adam Eda, you could tell that they were going to be there, and Knight, uh, Malumbi, and Cullen. So, can't really argue too much with that. When you're looking at the the game itself, I mean, overall we were beaten by the better team and we were just a class above. Um, going into this game with all the injuries and everything that we had, I was not surprised that uh, that this is the way we kind of set up with the, all the injuries, Evan Ferguson and uh, Matt Doherty, Seamus Coleman, all these, all our bigger players. But um, I do think that we, we went into this game where, you know, we were, look, you know, we knew that we are going to this game not really expecting anything and if we could just keep the score down. We said it in the preview, if we could get anything like a 2-0 and keep anything respectable, that would be a great result. Now I do have to say the players put their bodies on the line for everything. I thought the back three were brilliant uh, in terms of putting their body in, uh, on the line for stuff. Now I haven't seen the goals back, um, so I'll discuss them tomorrow at some stage because obviously I was at the match, but um, in regards to the the performance I mean you can't really you can't turn around and say that anybody in particular was absolutely shit because I don't think anybody really was I do think France are absolute top quality probably the best team in the world if you look at their overall quality I mean every position they have basically someone that can come in and play um, in reserve that would be just as good as the, play, the next player so that's from centre backs full backs uh, midfielders wingers and strikers so I, I don't think that we did anything wrong, really. Um, I thought we tried to play football when we could, maybe lacking that little bit of um, quality up top. But otherwise, um, if you're looking at it from a result point of view, you'd have to just say um, the best team won on the day. And you can't really argue with that. I mean, I, I, it was a brave 2-0 defeat. And that's all you can really say about it. Um, there, wasn't, there wasn't much more you can really say about it in terms of... Um, you know, we, I thought our lads gave as much as they could, but ultimately the quality just prevailed um, from France. And the amount of times the lads were still putting their body on the line when the game was pretty much over, and they were still putting their bodies on the line and showing that they still cared. Um, and then they came over and clapped the fans at the end. So I thought that was uh, it was very good of them. Um, you know, because we were probably looking at a hammer in, in this game, and. Uh, to put in the performance that we did. I don't think it's going to do anything for Stephen Kenny's job or anything like that, but what I do think is that it's going to be... Um, it is the end of the, of the campaign. I think uh, we could get any sort of result against the Netherlands on the weekend. And, um, yeah, it's going to look a little bit positive, but ultimately it's a bit of a false dawn. I do think it's time to maybe move. Uh, a, a change probably is needed. And that's something to do with really Stephen Kane. It's just the results haven't worked out for him. He's been so unlucky. I do think it's just a change will come in, much like Vera Pau. Just a change. The, the cycle's kind of came and gone now. Let's move on to a new manager. And maybe Lee Carsey or someone like that would be brilliant to bring in. Let us know your thoughts in the comments anyway. Oh, there's a train coming now. It's going to ruin this video. So let us know your thoughts in the comments uh, on our performance. Are you good or do you think it was what it was? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. I'll speak to you all later. Thanks for watching.